We're talking big, beautiful books this morning with Audrey Buller from Joseph Beth Booksellers. She joins us now with five of her picks to read this month. We were just looking through these and they are awesome books. Great gifts to be thinking about too for the holidays down the road. So let's start with this first one, which this is beautiful. Is, it is, it's a gorgeous children's picture book illustrated by Carol Boston Weatherford and Frank Morrison. This is Aretha Franklin, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. There's your pink Cadillac Look at right that. there. That's so nice. <laughs> and the end papers are great. Like here at the end, here's this little girl with her Aretha album. So is it the story of Aretha Franklin? It's her told life. Uh -huh. Her life story. Yes, and it's all told in, in rhyming couplets. It's just charming. And perfect timing because of the movie. Yes, yes. Coming out. or With the great Jennifer Hudson. Hudson. Yeah, the Jennifer yeah. Hudson movie, mm -hmm. so perfect uh -huh. timing for that. Uh, right. And this one, this I could see for any Star Trek fan is going to have to have this. I'll tell you. I'm nerding out big time with this. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. This is um, The Next Generation. Juan Ortiz imagined each episode as a movie and then thought, what would the movie poster be for that, that particular episode? It's incredible. It really is. I, I mean, it, it speaks to an immersion in that culture that is, is unbelievable. It really is. So each episode he's got in there and it's in a... A, a movie, movie poster, poster that he designed. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's it's something. Yeah, that that definitely would be on a list for anybody who's a Star Trek fan. Right. Okay, and then this one getting a little more local? Um, actually, this is not local. Oh, okay. These are beautiful photographs of city halls all over oh, the all country. Oh, all over, okay. Uh-huh. And some of them are very, you know, old school and ornate, and others have been built more recently and are, you know, a very different architectural style. So pretty. It is. So for anyone fond of public architecture and, you know, thinking about the places that we give ourselves as citizens, it's, it's a terrific thing to think about. That would be another great one for the architecture fan. Right. And, and this one is fascinating to me. It absolutely is. This is done by MIT Press and it's third in a the series. They did Atlas of Science, Atlas of Knowledge, and now this is Atlas of Forecasts. And what this is is using computational models to predict different forecasts. This is, this is weather, but there are different things. There's, um, um, there's um, a map of the Twitterverse by language. Interesting. There's um, job forecasting. There's um, there's a really good one in here. I'm not certain where it's located, but the guy has, well, the guy, it's Randall Monroe in that case. Um, he's graphed out relationships in various movies. So you compare like relationships in the Lord of the Rings, which are all intersectioned yeah. a bit, as opposed to relationships in 12 Angry Men, where they never intersect. Fascinating. <laughs> it really is. The way people can order data is is great. So I, this to me would be one of the coffee table books you could spend a long Absolutely. time with. And we don't have a lot of time left, so I want to make sure we get to the last one, because this one is local. Of course. The Cincinnati Opera has a new book out, a centennial celebration, wonderful old photos and the stories of the opera back in the zoo days and um, the evolution of, of um, of this organization and its support in the community. It's a wonderful thing. Great. I always has great book picks. So we can find you at Joseph Beth Booksellers in Norwood. That's or, right. Uh, so go visit her. She always has good recommendations. Thank you. And we'll have that full list at local12.com. We'll be right back.